that side and the sharp one. Okay, we had good devotions about the uh, uh, it was matching with uh, following was matching with my topic. I was feeling like, oh, I was right. God, He has given it. God, He is is providing. And so now I was uh, studying yesterday. Went to Glee City for church. It was interesting. The death. Yes, we came to gathering. We were learning and learning of different topics. It was a good encouragement for me to to meet the death again. To see that there's a desire just before church to sit down. Just and to see there are more people that are suffering. They don't know what to do exactly. But God, He has a plan. God, He has the way. As Steve was saying, the, the future, we don't know. But Jesus, He knows. And if we accept Jesus to lead, you will follow rejoice. So, disciple, disciple, yes, I want to be a disciple, follow Jesus. So, my point today, topic is about the verse, if anyone desires to come after me, let himself deny or know and take up his cross daily, meaning take up responsibility daily, being responsible for yourself and follow. Just follow. Really, it is simple. It is easy because one already has been done, and we just need to follow. It's not hard to follow, but it's hard to start the first. But praise the Lord, Jesus, He already has one. He showed us. There's a verse that is saying, your, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So this verse is saying that this word that is a lamp. So here we have the Bible, the Word, that is our light. That is our light. So it shines. For what? For my feet. I can see. For my path. The Word. So God's Word will show us the way, will help us. So I just found a picture. Because we can see the path. It's like a little bit of light. It's enough to help us. Why? Because I'm using, I'm using the word and lights my feet. 
in my path is bright, and I can see a big part of life. The word is So, if we want to be disciples, what are we going to do? We need to see Jesus as the way. If you and I want to follow and copy Jesus, we need to see Jesus' way. How did Jesus, what did he do? How do we know about Jesus? That is a question. Jesus, what did he do on earth? He was helping people? Yes. He changed life? From what change? Obeying? Other ideas. Jesus, what did he do? He had power to help, to heal. Heal. Some more. Yeah, I was teaching about God. How do you know that? How do you know that? The Bible tells us. Where do you find that? Because we have been reading in here. Now we know. If we didn't have the word, But we have it, now we know, we read it, and we understand. That's why it's important. Only because of the Bible we know, we see Jesus' way. If we would not have the Bible, we, Jesus' way, But now we have the Bible, we read it, and we know it. Will we follow people or Jesus? We will follow. So here, we point to the verse. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So now let us study desire. Let's point to desire. And let's study deny. Let's look at it. Deny. What does it mean? And take up the cross, meaning responsibility taking up. So four points. Four of them. One verse is, is explaining about the desire. We as people, we need a desire. If we don't have a desire. We're trying. We need to have a desire. One. If there is no one, what we do?
denied myself and said no. Jesus, yes. This one I kind of interpreted that responsibility. So the last one is just follow. So let's start with desire. We as people need to wake up. Wake up. A desire needs to be waking up. If you and I were sleeping. We don't notice what is happening with God. So we need to wake up. God, 
But God, He sees this big universe of stars and of all. And God sees that little And he loves the people and he knows what they're doing. So we must understand that there is a God that we want. And so we must understand who are we before him. Who we are before God. So who am I before God? So God, He has this world so small and the stars and everything so big. And God, He could just boom, the world would be gone. But God, He loves and He sees everything so perfect. Now we on this earth, on this small earth, we got to see there's a big God. And He Are sinners, we are wrong before him, we are dirty. He is so holy, he is so righteous, and we are so messed up. And he sent his son to save the world, and he loves the world. So that is so important that we understand who is God and that we understand before Him we are so kind. But He still cares about us so much. So in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it is saying, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the end of the earth. So, but you shall receive power from what? Well, He, God, He has power. So He wants to give us when the Holy Spirit is given and has come upon you, but to give you the power to be strong and to go on with Him. And then what we do? When we will receive the power and the Spirit upon us, what we do, we will witness and will testify about Jesus who has saved us. And we are saved. And now more people will be saved. And so that His name will be praised and glorified forever. And He will be honored forever. That is our desire with Christ. praise God. Next word, deny or say no to myself. Say no. They're different. We must be awake. Okay, what's here? That's how it's supposed to be awake. And get a desire. So we need to be awakened and get a desire. What? To deny ourselves. 
so that we will not just follow after my desires. No, but that we will surrender my life important. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore we also, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that is so easily ensnares us. So this verse, here's something to think, I omitted it. Therefore we, let us, what should we do? Let us lay aside the burdens, the burdens that we have. Lay it aside. And the sin that so easily ensnares us. This means uh, like being caught in the tempted. It is uh, the police. He caught the person.
we are following Jesus he first he walked away Jesus he first First, Jesus, he said no to himself. His body would be hurt. His body would be beaten. Jesus, he said no to himself. And he said yes to God. I will obey him. So we are. We Because we see that Jesus different color, we are afraid. What if I would send that spirit? What follow Jesus? I prefer my way. It's alright. Jesus, he experienced different. We may experience the same as Jesus. That's alright. That's right. Because Jesus, he was worse. So we, what we do, follow with rejoicing. chapter 11 verse 8 is saying come unto me Jesus he is saying come come unto me and what all of you come come unto me that are burdened and have me come unto me Jesus he says and what will you do I will give you rest Satan, 
what we do. So we just got to surrender to do His will and follow Him and just be a servant. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1, Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself also in the same mind. For he who suffered in the flesh has ceased. That he no longer should live in the rest of his life in the flesh in the loss of man, but the flesh put away and do the will of God. Just a few simple thoughts for you. Successful people, what they do? They take up responsibility. Responsibilities for their own failures. If I am failing and I am doing wrong, I myself need to take up responsibility that I was failing. That is me, successful people. Unsuccessful people that are not winning, they blame others. They blame others. Because of you, I can. Because of you, I can. When you blame others, you give up your power to grow themselves. When I blame others, I myself become weak and stop growing. So, if you're blaming others, you're weakened to stop growing. So we need to take up responsibility for ourselves. Take responsibility of my own problems. I know. I ask you to help. And he has plans. Go through. Let's continue in the way of God. Let's continue. Why did it have this? Continue to follow. Do not get tired. Example. When you have decided to rest and run, and you start running. You're taking a push. That wise and good idea? No. Let us continue to the end. Let's see if we'll win. Let's, let's continue to run. So I want to encourage us that we'll continue not get weary. No. No. Uh, no. But continue. Because this world might you an end. And I want to rejoice with Christ and with Him to live forever. Why? Because He loved me. He loved me and saved me. When I was in my heart, when I was burdened with sin, I was happy. I was blaming others. Yeah, I remember that. I was mean with some of the things 
I, I was not happy. But the day when I decided that I would surrender to him, it changed my life. That was rest for my soul. He was giving it to me. I was desiring, I became hungry. I wanted more about him. And he gave me more. I just got to give him my life. Because he loved me. So, because he loves us, we will love him. So that's my encouragement for you today. Let us continue to serve Him and love Him forever. Because we will, in heaven, we will continue to praise and sing and glorify and honor Jesus. Just We're starting to practice here on this earth, but we want forever in heaven.